Hello everyone! Today we would create another quick script that would place or remove selected revision on sheets, specified by the view set. We would also use Dynamo Player to make the workflow more accessible for all users. Let's get started. For this script, we would need to use three extra packages, such as Crumple, Archilab, and Rhythm. If you are unsure of how to download packages, please check my previous video where I explain the process step by step. Let's start with define our end nodes. Right click and type down sheets.revisions add and also search for sheets.revisions remove. Now let's obtain all available view sets in the current project. Type down view sets and then view sets.views to get all sheets from the selected view set. Connect the views output to add and remove revision nodes. Search for select revision node. It would have a drop-down list of all revisions in the current project. Connect it to both add and remove revision nodes as well. Now search for boolean and connect it to the add revision node. Right-click and type down node, then connect boolean to not node and connect to remove revision node. The not node is required to build an inverse output of the same boolean node. In other words, if the boolean is set to true, it would send true to the add revision node, but would send false to remove revision node. Rename the boolean node, so everyone who uses the script would have a more clear idea what true or false would do. Now, search for watch node. We would need them in Dino Player to visualize all the sheets which were updated. Let's also add a quick message window asking for the number of sheets confirmation. Search for list.count node and connect viewsets.views to that. It will give us the total number of sheets from selected viewset. Now double click and type down the question message. In my case it would be do you want to update? Then type plus a plus sheets question mark. Don't forget to put everything in between quotation marks excluding plus signs and the A letter. That way, we will see the number of sheets in our message window. Double-click again and type down number of sheets. This would be the name of our message window. Search for user message and connect number of sheets code block to caption and message code block to message. Also connect viewsets.u to obg and connect the result to add and remove revision nodes instead of sheets. Now rename watch nodes to something like revision added to sheets and revision removed from sheets for better clarity in Dino Player. That's it. Let's prepare the script for Dino Player. Select view sets and right click. Then select is input. Do the same for select revision and boolean node which we renamed. Also select both watch nodes, which we just renamed, right click and select is output. Now save, open Dino Player and locate the newly created script. If you are unsure of how to access the script through Dino Player, please check the step-by-step -step instructions in the previous video. For this example, I created a few revisions and a view set that includes five sheets from the sample project. As you can see, we start with selecting whether we want to add or remove revision. Then we need to select the revision which we want to use. After that, choose a view set. Once you press run, you would see the message window asking whether you want to confirm the operation or cancel. It also informs the amount of sheets which would be updated. I find this helpful in case I accidentally clicked run without selecting the correct view set. After the script is finished, you will see the sheets which were updated either under revision added to sheets or removed, depending on whether you choose true or false. I hope you liked this video and see you next time. Thank you.